So this is how propaganda in war works. Russian soldiers are supplied with Viagra to rape Ukrainian women and dehumanize them. Claims you an official. Dude, Viagra should stop selling to them. <laughs> a UN official told AFP Russian soldiers are being supplied with Viagra to rape Ukrainian women. Pramila Patton, the UN special representative on sexual violence, says it's clearly a military strategy. She said that the UN had verified more than 100 rapes or sexual assault cases since Russia invaded Ukraine. Should Pfizer step in and say, hey, no more Viagra for you guys? Why aren't they stepping in and doing their part? Why aren't they? Do well, it turns out that's bullshit, of course. That's called uh, war propaganda. Uh, but I like that Business Insider just prints it uncritically. And then at the end it says, top editors give you the stories you want, delivered right into your inbox each weekday. Do you want some propaganda delivered right? Into the we we'll give you the <laughs> Russia hate stories you like. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm relieved because I knew Pfizer wouldn't let me down by supporting this. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> So it turns out it's a lie. R Russia using rape as military strategy in Ukraine, that's a lie. Look, at there it is. CNN reports it's kind of a it. a bad strategy, you know? Yeah. Uh, and here's from Max Blumenthal. The entire Western media and Slavos really? promoted a UN envoy's claim that Russian soldiers were on a Viagra-fueled rampage in Ukraine. You see the Russians and the <laughs> suffering succotash. <laughs> they think they're using Viagra and this... Is what they do in the Ukraine. <laughs> the UN envoy now admits she had no proof and was influenced by an ex Ukrainian official who's confessed to lying. <laughs> okay, this, I like this because she tells a lie. <laughs> so why would, the, I don't know anything about Slavov Zizek. Oh, that's all you need to know, that impression. I know that impression. I know, I know how he sounds. <laughs> he's Slovenian. And that's Australian. why I don't know much about him, because when he starts talking, I can't listen. It's just, it just makes me want to... I wouldn't have thought he was like a guy that would jump on... He seemed like a guy that would be pretty critical of a Saddam well, that's Hussein why recycled this, rape room Yeah, story. that's why this is surprising to me. Jackson, is it surprising to you that this guy did that? Based upon his, how much Slavoj sniffs in every sentence, I think he might be coke buddies with Zelensky. <laughs> Do you think he, I mean, is Slavoj like, is that an innocent mistake, a stupid mistake on his part, you think? Do you know anything about him? Because I honestly, from no, what he's, I know he's him, been I like, he's, think that. He's been very cringe recently, especially regarding Ukraine. So no, no one he, really listens to him anymore. He got a case of the Hitchens. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Case, case of the, the Chomsky's. Yeah. So guess what? Yeah, think about that. Even Chomsky's better than him on this. That's crazy. In the, so guess guess what? They're recycling this. They did this in Libya. So in the in the lead up of the NATO intervention in Libya, U.S. ambassador to the U.N. Susan Rice claimed that the Libyan government was giving soldiers Viagra to sexually assault. No, why did nineteen year old soldiers need Vi hard on pills? That, that, they also that said doesn't it make sense. In the documentary, Gaddafi Mad Dog that was on Showtime, uh -huh. his old work is like yes, it was because he was always taking Viagra, so he would go on raping sprees to the countryside. I remember watching this and being like, is this a smear job of Gaddafi? <laughs> like, so this yeah. is what they use to, to justify intervention. So they, 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 this is the old playbook and Slava Zizek, he remember fell Uday for Hussein it. And the guy who supposedly was his body double and they made a movie about it. Yeah. Turns out that guy never, <laughs> never served and there's no record of him ever. That whole thing's nonsense. Really? Yep. That guy's a liar. So here's what the woman from the UN said. She was in an interview with a France, French news agency, and she said, all the indications are there. When women, when women are held for days and raped, when you start to rape little boys and men, when you see a series of genital mutilations, when you hear women testify about Russian soldiers equipped of Viagra, it's clearly a military strategy the UN envoy confidently proclaimed. Wouldn't they give them Cialis so they can choose when they attack the women, rather <laughs> when they're ready? Right. <laughs> Instead of immediately having to. Uh, so that was on October 14th. She said that, uh, and now here she is at November 10th. She was on a phone call or a zoom call with pranksters, Vladimir, who, whatever his name is, and Alexei style. They're, they're better known by their aliases, Vovan and Lexus. And so they get an interview. They, they trick her. This is great. I love when this happens. I like their work, these guys. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So they say to her, hey, do you have any proof of the Russian rape thing with the Viagra? Do you have any proof of this, that you've been spreading this lie? 
And here's what she says. I, oh, I, ask, you, I ask you because you know that uh, Russians also try to uh, post it as a fake because you know that there's a very problem. Uh, so I would like to ask you, did they provide you any proofs of uh, no, it was no, a fire? No, 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 like, uh, I, I don't, like I said, uh, it's not my role. No, no proof. She just said it. No, no, they no proof. And then she she's going to explain why they don't have any proof. She goes, it's not my role to have proof to go and investigate. Mm-hmm. I sit in New York in an office in New York and I have an advocacy and I have an advocacy mandate. Oh, great. My role is not to investigate. The investigation is going on by the U- Human Rights Monitoring Team and the International Commission of Inquiry. In their report so far, there is nothing about about Viagra. So why are you saying that then? <laughs> so why, but, but there it is, her saying it. It's clearly a military strategy. And she said, but, but, and where did she get this from? She got this from this woman. Oh, the one that got fired. Ukrainian ombudsman it. fired for dozens of fake reports about Russian military raping kids. Yeah. And so that's where she, and then, so now, Ukrainians, they're like, you're we're way overdoing it. Now NGOs are going to look yeah. into these things you made up yeah. and we have no proof. And, and she so, got fired. And so she lied so much like that, they fired her. Yeah. And that's the woman, this is the woman that she claims she was getting her information. And now, today, Patton, that, that's this woman. Patton is this woman, the woman who spread, the, have- spread the lie. Today, Patton occupies a UN position created by Hillary Clinton, where she recycles baseless regime change narratives from over a decade ago to fuel the latest intervention charade in Washington. That's from Gray Zone. Uh, there it is. Today, Patton, there it is. Today, Patton occupies a U.S. position created by Hillary Clinton. Where she recycles these kind of baseless claims. They take Viagra, the twenty-year-old sold. I mean, it's so right <laughs> on the face of it, stupid. And people fall for it, like my friends, people that I go to dinner with, fall fall for this shit. It is kind of the perfect, like it hits all the right sensational yeah. things, especially the Viagra. Like, oh my god, yeah. I take that to use it for evil that way. Evil. <laughs> I only use Viagra for good. <laughs> <laughs> Why Why is it that this UN position will spend years and years and years and millions of dollars investigating all these Viagra stories that we know are bogus about Libya or about Russia and Ukraine, but they're not going to ever investigate the, the sexual exploits of like Jeffrey Epstein and his associates. They're never going to like try to find out who those guys were. And they're never going to and they're never going to try to find out uh, where the virus came from. As Jeffrey yeah. Sachs has told us, they won't. They have no interest in investigating that. <laughs> we'll see you November nineteenth and twentieth in Austin, Texas. November twenty sixth. That's the Saturday after Thanksgiving in Burbank, and then all December we're going to be in Los Angeles doing Friday night shows. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all the tickets and become a premium member. While you're there, you get all of our videos unedited. JimmyDoor.com, not Jimmy Door Comedy. <laughs>